Since I made the earphone battle video, these two have been showing up. This time I get to have a say, it's Samsung for the win. Heh, <laughs> Apple is the best. It always was and always will be. Well, let's get started, shall we? Before I say anything about the earphones, there is an important thing that needs to be mentioned. Why I made such a video in the first place. You see, we buy a phone and in the box they usually include a charger and a set of earphones. We tend to think that those are for free, but they're not. When we paid for the phone, we paid for these accessories as well. Hence, if all of us collectively draw our attention towards these items, the manufacturers will have to take notice. And it is my hope that competition in the market will make these included earphones better. Okay, on with the video. As I make this video, in January 2019, Samsung S9 series and Note 9 includes the AKG tuned earphones. They have been including these since the S8 series. On the other hand, Apple has been including these earpods since the iPhone 5 days. Here is a fun fact. By sales volume, the estimated number of iPhones sold that had these earphones till 2018 quarter 3 is about 1.1 billion units globally over a span of about 5.5 years. These earphones weigh about 9 grams each which adds up to about 9,900 tons which is about the same weight of an Airbus A380 fully loaded at the time of takeoff times 17. So let's begin with the comparisons. From the get-go, the difference of their outer appearance is in stark contrast. The earpods presents itself in its white and off-white combination, while Samsung has gone with the charcoal and midnight blue combination. Yeah, it is the simple look that is always better. Heh, <laughs> our design is timeless and forever. Looks are something that is up to an individual to like or to dislike. The choice of material for cable is another story. The earpod has this rubber insulation which has a bit of a matte finish to it. The AKGs have nylon braiding on the main part of the cable. However, where the cables split, we have the similar rubber insulation. With regards to staying tangled free, neither is more capable than the other not to get tangled when we chuck them in our bag or something but once they are tangled it is the samsung earphones that can be straightened tad a bit more easier because of the braiding the braiding is such a gimmick says mr tangle himself ladies and gentlemen it, it is a feature Moving on to the earbuds themselves, just by looking at it we can tell that the way these earphones fit into the ear is different. Although technically they're both in-canal earphones, Samsung opted for the traditional in-canal type design and they provided additional ear tips should someone need to go size up or down. Apple on the other hand has a one size fits all approach the shape of the earbud starts narrow at the grills and gets wider as we move further back. As a result, any individual can fit these in their ear. It's just a matter of pushing them in and at one stage it will grip and form a seal. Forming a seal is important for both these earphones. Both of them sound far inferior if they become loose. And on that note, Samsung earphones tend to stay in place a bit better as the ear tips are made of rubber and squeezes in a bit. Thus, it slips less and conforms to the shape of an individual's ear. The ear pods by design has a hard surface so it requires the ears to conform to its shape. And that is how the ear grips to the earbuds. Issue is that this is not a great solution for maintaining the seal for longer periods of time. Hard surface tends to be slippery and the earbuds loosen over time reducing the quality of sound. Personally, I've had to push it back in its place periodically because they loosen. Your ears are weird. Seriously? 
Now let's talk about the quality of sound. In order to assess the sound, I used these earphones with my trusty old Sonar DX sound card instead of any mobile phone. The audio source used were handpicked as well for quality, genre and use cases. So let's start with Apple. What was immediately apparent to me was that the earbuds are tuned to appeal to the mass majority. Not audio enthusiasts perhaps. Now what do I mean by that? From a mass production point of view, these earphones will be picked up by the user who may not have an earphone spare. Others who have invested into a decent pair will not use these as their main set. So those who are using these are not fast enough to upgrade. Having said this, Apple had to cater for any and every genre. It's not particularly bass heavy, but good enough to be serviceable. Mids and highs are also nicely present, kind of tuned to be safe. Again, dare not, fail not method. Which brings me to the point that those who care about sound that much will buy something better. Others who are not fussed will find these just fine. While in contrast, Samsung is openly attempting to appeal to anyone who would care about the brand of the earphone. Sure, the name AKG is not known by everyone out there as far as the mass consumer goes, but placing a logo boldly, Samsung is trying to improve on the perceived value, a belief that it is better. Well, is it? Is it better? There is no short answer to this. You see, there definitely is an attempt to tune the sound. The mids are better than that of Apple. The treble in some cases I found these to have crisper feel. Bass is indeed a letdown. Not that Apple had lots to offer, it's just that bass here is not of satisfactory quality. Think of it this way. Classical or vocal centric content is better rendered on the AKG tuned earphones. Pop or rap somewhat has better appearance on the ear pods. Hard rock or heavy metal is good on neither. Heavy metal and hard rock? Yeah, who listen to these? I do. What I'm saying is that while these two earphones will work well enough for most majority of consumers, there is plenty of room for improvements. These are after all shipped with products that are considered to be the premium end of the market. The iPhone 10 series of phones comes with these earpods and Note 9 and S9 series comes with these AKG earphones. Samsung does not provide the AKG tuned earphones with their mid-tier phones. For the premium end of the market, these earphones are not what I would call premium experience. We want more. And it's okay to want more at this price range. If you are about to purchase a product of either brand, would you not want better than mediocre inclusions? Well, that is the takeaway message of this video. As far as which one is the winner? Well, by a very slim margin, the Samsung earphone. Not because it's far superior, it's those little things that are better the cables for a start, then there is the better fit. Sound remains an even split between the two. They both need to improve. That is a total bias. You're a fan of Samsung. We won and that's all that counts. The two of you need to calm down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Over the years, I've had numerous people contact me saying that their earphones broke or cables frayed or something like that. In part 2 of this video, I'll demonstrate that instead of replacing the earphone like for like, there are alternatives that raises the bar for the manufacturers to follow without costing the earth. Hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.